Ralph Natalie, born March 6, 1935, is a former American mobster. He was the boss of the Philadelphia crime family from 1995 until 1999, when he became the first American mafia boss to turn state's evidence. Natalie helped sentence Joey Merlino to a 14-year sentence in 2001, but in January 2005, was also sentenced for racketeering, receiving the 13-year sentence. He was released in May 2011 and entered the Witness Protection Program. Early Life Natalie was born on March 6, 1935, in South Philadelphia to Italian-American parents. He had one younger brother. Natalie's grandparents were Italian immigrants, and his paternal grandparents died in the 1918 flu pandemic in Philadelphia. Michael, Natalie's father was an associate of the Philadelphia crime family and operated a numbers operation for them. His relationship with his father was very poor. He had once repeatedly kicked him because Natalie missed his curfew. Natalie was mentored by hitman Felix Skinny Razor DiTulio. Natalie ran the Bartenders Union Local 170, running it on behalf of Angelo Bruno, one of the three former 170 union leaders. Joseph McGreal demanded that Natalie be removed as the union leader. McGreal was subsequently murdered in 1973, with Andrew Thomas Del Giorno believed to be the killer. According to Natalie, he became a made man in a secret ceremony with Bruno and Carl Gambino in Manhattan. In 1970, Natalie murdered conman George Feeney after he insulted Natalie and Bruno. He was also known for assisting the Philadelphia mob in taking over casinos in Atlantic City during the late 1970s. Criminal career In 1979, Natalie was convicted of arson for firebombing a furniture store in an insurance fraud scheme. He was sentenced to 12 years in prison. The following year, he was convicted of participating in a drug deal involving 500,000 quaaludes and 10 kilos of cocaine. He was sentenced to 15 years in prison. It was during his prison sentence that he met Joey Merlino and the two allegedly conspired to take over the Philadelphia crime family from John Stanfa. In 1990, he conspired and ordered the murder of bookmaker Louis, Louis Irish DeLuca. James, Jimmy Brooms, Diario was shot six times and murdered whilst he was talking on the phone four months later. His murder also directly ordered by Natalie.Stanfa was arrested for racketeer influence in Corrupt Organizations Act violations in March 1994, was convicted in 1995, and sentenced to life in 1996. With most of Stanfa's supporters also arrested and convicted, Merlino, released from prison in November 1994, named Natalie, who was released from prison on parole, as the new boss while positioning himself as his underboss. During Natalie's reign, Merlino was the real power in the family, allowing Natalie to become boss to direct law enforcement attention away from himself. Oh, on October 5, 1995, when John Vesey, Philly Mafia hitman turned government witness, was set to testify against John Stanfa and his men, his brother William Vesey was murdered. A year later, Natalie had North Jersey capo Joseph Sedano murdered because he refused to attend two separate meetings. His last confirmed involvement in murder was with 61-year-old Anthony Tara in March 1998, who was found shot to death in front of his home before he could arrive to trial for plotting to murder Merlino. Informant in June 1998 Natalie was jailed for a parole violation. Merlino subsequently took control of the family and cut off support to the imprisoned boss. Angered by this, Natalie offered to secretly record conversations with Merlino, but it was not until September 1999, when he was indicted for financing drug deals, that he formally struck a deal to cooperate. In doing so, Natalie became the first sitting boss in the history of the American Mafia to become government informant. Natalie testified against Merlino during his 2001 racketeering trial, but was unable to secure a conviction for the murders he claimed Merlino committed. On December 3, 2001, Merlino was however convicted of racketeering charges and given a 14-year prison sentence.
Natalie had admitted to committing eight murders and four attempted murders. In January 2005, Natalie was sentenced to 13 years in prison for drug dealing, racketeering and bribery. He was released in May 2011, and placed in witness protection. Later life Natalie has five children with his wife Lucy Natalie, three daughters and two sons. He has another daughter with a previous girlfriend, she has disowned her father. Natalie has a brother who was a music conductor as of 2001 at a casino based in Atlantic City. In March 2017, Natalie published a book named Last Don Standing, The Secret Life of Mob Boss Ralph Natalie, alongside Larry McShane and Dan Pearson. In late 2016, it was announced that actor Frank Grillo would play as Natalie in an upcoming feature film. References